I personally was reporting on the Black Friday shopping situation here at the mall, uh, an otherwise calm story, uh, because today wasn't too busy at the mall. But then as I was sitting near a loading dock in between Macy's and JCPenney, shortly after 6 o'clock, I saw people stampeding out of the doors by the loading dock where I was writing my story, and they just were running in all directions. I stopped, and I, it, it did not look good, so I tried to stop some people. Nobody would stop even because they were trying to get as far away from the mall as possible. Then uh, I can tell you that two ladies who were shoppers in the mall stopped and asked if I could take them to their car. They were shaken. They were upset. They said that there had been a shooting in the mall, and they uh, – they hopped in my car and we we went around to the other side of the mall where their car was located um they were saying that they were running for their lives basically they're very upset um again here at the mall heavy police presence heavy law enforcement presence i'm seeing medical personnel here on the ground as well um it is unknown right now just how many shots were fired or where all of this took place but What I have heard from witnesses is they think it took place over by the Sears store. So um, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. You may have a better vantage point than I do in terms of ground pictures. I believe uh, one of our photographers is actually up with a live picture, Walter Brittany. Yeah, um, Melanie, we know that you are in a safe location. We know that you were evacuated and you're calling us by phone. So you're not exactly where uh, the video that we are seeing from our photographer, who with the power of a zoom lens, he can uh, zoom in and show us the various things that are happening outside of the parking lot. Uh, Melanie, I have a question for you. I wanted to know, uh, we are hearing that there were people still inside the mall. Have you heard if uh, people are hiding, if they've, you know, what areas they've been able to run away through? or anything like that? That's a great question, Walter. And I just made my way around to one of the entrances of the mall. Um, If you're familiar with Arden Fair Mall, you know there's that elevator in the middle of the mall where they typically have the Christmas tree and that large elevator with the electronic reader board surrounding all sides of the elevator. I'm looking inside right now, and I'm not seeing an extraordinary number of people. I am seeing some people, though, trickle out of the doors. So it appears that at this point, um, the urgency to get out um, is maybe not what it was when I certainly saw all of this shake out and I saw people stampeding out of the mall. 